very good morning children now uh, welcome to lesson production of food from uh, agriculture and methods of management and uh, we are in uh, session 3 now let's come to uh, today's uh, topic that is applying manure and uh, pesticides so already in the previous classes we learned about different types of agriculture operations like uh, preparation of soil and the next uh, sowing of seeds like this and then uh, what's the next one means say so this uh, applying manure and uh, pesticides you know whenever we take this uh, growing uh, rice crop naturally rice crop or any crop see that is a very very attractive food for different types of uh, insects right like especially there's a moth uh, caterpillar can you see this yeah moth caterpillar the next uh, paddy beetles and then uh, it's a larva and even paddy grasshopper and uh, aphids right can you see all these pictures yeah these are very very dangerous and uh, you know they attack they attack this uh, growing rice crop and uh, they cause different types of disease you know how they damage the plant means you know these uh, insects some of them they eat the leaves they eat up they completely eat up the leaves you know what happens then you know what is the use of leaf yeah when the uh, leaf is present then only we can find a photosynthesis but whenever all the leaves are eaten up eaten up by these uh, insects then what happens then automatically rate of photosynthesis uh, decreases and so that production decreases good and then what's the next one others bore through the root bore bore means what that means they make holes into the root and the some into this uh, stems and then what they do they suck the juice they suck out the juice that means juice means what here uh, juice means not any fruit juices and uh, all these things so when the juice juice contains uh, you know different varieties of uh, nutrients and uh, water so when uh, these nutrients are lost from uh, the plant body then the plant could not able to uh, prepare its uh, food materials Correct. And even from uh, the tender rice grain, tender rice grain, tender, what is meant by tender? Tender means that is developing rice grain, developing a rice grain. So in this way, these different types of insects, they cause uh, this uh, much damage to this uh, rice crop. So to control all these uh, insects and the pests, what we do? The means we use these uh, pesticides. We use a uh, pesticides if it is caused by pest we use a pesticide if it is by insect then we go for the insecticide so when we take this the chemicals of pesticides so some order some can be dusted and some can be sprayed dusted here what is mean by dusted means you know some chemicals are available as a powders as a powders and those powders can be dusted can you see here yeah uh, for example take uh, in our classroom when now uh, we clean the board then what means that means all this dust becomes a very very dirty and then uh, what we do that means we tap the dust over the wall then what uh, you can find you can find that uh, you know there's a powder against the glaze from the dust correct okay that is called one dusting just like that this chemical can be dusted right and uh, see some of these chemicals are available as uh, liquids and those liquids can be sprayed they can be sprayed with the help of a sprayer so in this way these pesticides are available in the two forms as a powder and a liquid powder can be dusted while the liquid can be sprayed right and here we can find some uh, questions just uh, go through them do all the farmers use same pesticide for the same crop uh, say for example there are uh, five farmers and they are all growing uh, rice okay and uh, they get uh, the same type of uh, disease then can you see that all these farmers they use same chemical same pesticide no they may go for different types of uh, pesticides right but uh, we cannot see that all the farmers use same uh, same pesticide right is there any disease that uh, you can find uh, in all the fields no here is there any disease that you can find in uh, all the fields means now in the different types of fields we can find different types of uh, disease then where do they bind pesticides 
where where means you know we can find this uh, uh, chemicals shops we can find the uh, agro agro shops agro chemical shops like this okay and uh, from those uh, shops they can purchase this uh, pesticides and insecticides like this and what are the appliances used to spray pesticides now some of these can be uh, can be used with the help of a with the help of what sprayer and the sun can be with the help of a duster duster and the sprayer so with the help of these two these chemicals can be applied and then did you find uh, any other organisms dying along with the pests due to pesticides what are they yes you know these chemicals are naturally harmful to this pest but uh, they also harmful to very very important uh, insects insects like say this honeybees the next butterflies like these things okay that's why so whenever we are using these chemicals we should be very very careful we should see that these chemicals should not be used in overdoses overdoses good right the next one you know when now we take this uh, commercial crop especially this wheat paddy and the sugar cane are uh, generally affected by different types of uh, fungal disease right and uh, in such case we can find that uh, over the leaves and the stems over the leaves and the stems we can find the uh, spots spots means dot like a structures okay scots means scots means just like a scratch right spots and the spots can be seen over the leaves and uh, when we take this uh, groundnut you know this uh, groundnut is mostly affected by a disease by name ticka ticka disease and uh, when it is affected by ticka then uh, the leaves the leaves will show powdery spots powdery spots means that means we can find uh, the dots and uh, over the dots we can find uh, some kind of a powder right okay and uh, even the whole plant will becomes weighted weighted have you seen this wilted means it droops it falls down got it and uh, even when now uh, we uproot the plant uproot means when uh, the plant is completely removed from the soil then we can find that roots are uh, rotted roots are uh, rotted rotted means what the roots are completely spoiled and they give a very bad smell they give a very bad smell so when the root is uh, spoiled then what happens atmosphere the plant also dies or right. in this way we can find uh, much damage is caused to this uh, tick uh, caused to this uh, groundnut plant by which disease yeah there is a tick or disease now even whenever we take this uh, lemon lemon or the citrus uh, crops citrus crops so over this uh, citrus crop we can find different types of disease some are caused by virus and some are bacteria like this if it is caused by virus then we can find a uh, you see we can find a uh, spots on uh, the over the leaves and the fruits over the leaves and the fruits we can find a uh, white colored uh, spots can you see them yeah like this okay and uh, even it is a uh, powder like a uh, substance right so if powder like a uh, spots are there present over the leaves or the fruits then we can say that is because of a viral infection and sometimes over the fruits and leaves we can find a brown colored spots brown colored generally you know when uh, you go for the market over over this lemon we can find some brown colored dots spots have you seen yeah that is spot that is a bacterial infection bacterial infection and uh, along with uh, this uh, viral and the bacterial infections we can also find the uh, different types of infections caused by this leaf miner right so like this leaf miner then a citrus butterfly then aphids and the uh, mites and the uh, mites so these are also different types of uh, disease causing uh, uh, insects which can cause much damage to this uh, citrus crops right okay and here we can find one method see whenever the farmer found uh, some uh, parts are affected in a plant body say for example some uh, leaves leaves are affected then what the farmer do the farmer lee uh, farmer removes the affected leaves from the plant and put them under the plant 
under that uh, plant. So this is one farmer did and uh, in uh, second case another farmer he removed uh, those leaves and then he put them aside in the field aside the paints are uh, a little bit away from uh, the plant and uh, the third one in uh, a damp and the cupboards with the soil he dig uh, a small pit and then he put them inside uh, the soil and then uh, what's the next one another farmer he burned them he burned them so here we can find the four uh, situations what's the first one the affected parts are uh, put uh, under the same plant and then the second case aside and the third one inside the soil and the fourth one burnt so which is said to be the best one means the last option last option is uh, said to be the best one by means by using this uh, fourth option we can completely control that okay but in a uh, uh, remaining three cases what happens means see from those parts see this uh, disease or the infection can be spread to other healthy plants got it so which is the best one of course even we can say third one also but uh, when compared with the fourth one third one is a little bit okay so which is the best one best one is to be the fourth one that means uh, to completely burning out burning out the uh, affected uh, plant parts right whether there is a leaf or a flower or a stem or a root, whatever it may be. So we must burn that, right? The next one, pest controlling practices. How we can control this pest? Means, you know, generally, see this uh, small holes and tears in the leaves that are evidence of damage caused by insects. So when any plant is affected by insect or the caterpillar, caterpillar means what? The means a larvae it's a larvae how we can identify that means by by small holes and the tears small holes that means over the leaves like this no can you see this so here we can find the holes and the tears tears means not uh, from the eyes but uh, tearing tearing just like uh, uh, you know when uh, we tear the paper like that okay so in such way the leaves are affected okay so that is because of what? Insects and the by their caterpillar. And what's the next one? A rot or the swelling may hold the insect inside it. So in some cases what happens means over the leaf we can find some swelling, swelling like this. Okay. So when there is a swelling, we can find that uh, inside that uh, inside that swelling, we can find the some uh, insect. Right? Inside that uh, swelling, we can find the insect correct okay because of that we can find the swelling and then a crumpled uh, crumpled or a twisted leaf crumpled uh, crumpled means a uh, folded like this okay so so when uh, the leaf is a uh, folded or a crumpled or a twisted then it is uh, because of what it is because of uh, a fits a fits by sucking its juice when uh, juices are removed from the leaf then uh, the leaf becomes uh, like that okay and even in case of a fungal infection what we can find means over the leaf or the, any affected plant pot we can find the white or the black or yellow or the brown spots okay we can find the these colored spots or a fluffy fluffy means what shiny shiny powder coating over the leaves okay so in this way when uh, any plant is affected by fungus then we can find uh, this kind of symptoms and even if it is caused by any bacteria or a virus we can find uh, some discoloration discoloration means actually what is the color of leaves yeah that's a green but uh, in case of this uh, bacterial or viral infections so this uh, green color green color disappears and then we may find some uh, yellow or a brown color okay that is called discoloration Okay, and uh, what's the next one? Even root infections like uh, boring worms. So even roots are affected by this uh, boring worms. Boring worms. Can you see this? Yeah, boring worms. And the next uh, insects or a uh, fungus are not seen above the ground, but uh, they lead to wilting of uh, plants. So when the root is uh, affected, affected by these uh, infections, we cannot. Uh, 
we cannot see them we cannot see them but uh, what we can find means we can find the its effect what is that there is a wilting of a plants that means the plant uh, droops the plant uh, droops uh, say for example same yeah let's say this is uh, the plant okay so drooping drooping means see this uh, plant will uh, fall like this okay like this all right you see when uh, the plant is not uh, supplied with the water for the two to three days then what you can find you can find that uh, the leaf droops droops means uh, it uh, falls down okay that is called as a uh, wilting right and even every plant has a uh, characteristic insects and the other living things depending on it when we can take any plant the plant may be affected by a particular type of insects or even we can say some special living things or depending on it but not all only some are depending okay some of these associations might be useful or harmful for the plants so when we can find this kind of interactions interactions means you know i told you some are depending on the plants some are depending on the plants right so this kind of interactions sometimes they may be useful and sometimes may be harmful let's see how they are possible now in some cases they help in a pollination now help in pollination means especially say this a honey bees the next uh, say this butterflies they they play very very important role in a pollinating uh, this a uh, flowers and the next even this a wasp and the ladybirds what they do means the eater uh, harmful insects now wasp uh, can you find this ladybug yeah ladybug and the wasp so these insects they are a very very useful insects why we can say they are useful insects means the eater harmful insects harmful means which cause a disease okay and even in a small number this a pest may not cause any disease okay when uh, the pest number is less they are harmless but when their number is more then they cause a extensive damage extensive damage that means more the damage right and uh, even you know these insects are most uh, common in uh, agriculture pests okay and they multiply rapidly when when means when a food is uh, in a plenty you know even we can find that see when uh, uh, where you can find a uh, more number of rats and all these things when the food is plenty there you can find more rats in the same way when uh, food is available in a uh, huge amounts then uh, this uh, agriculture pests are uh, rapidly multiply and even this duck and wingless grasshopper is seen only in kharif so this insect when we can find means only in the kharif season you know kharif kharif means rainy season as a rain uh, rain means as a water is available so those conditions are very very suitable for the most of uh, the insects okay that's why most of the disease we can get uh, in the rainy season and even human beings also we think we should be very very careful in the rainy season why means in the rainy season most of all uh, the disease causing organisms they become very very active correct okay and at the end of each season they lay their eggs in the soil and they hatch only in next monsoon so what they do means they keep their eggs they keep their eggs in uh, the soil so that what means so in the next season they hatch they hatch okay so that what means means the next crop next crop will be affected okay that's the reason what uh, the farmers do means before they start the agriculture what they do they plug the soil and uh, they expose that the soil to the sunlight for a few days why means because that what means if any this kind of eggs or the insects are present then they will be killed what that's the reason why we plug the field and uh, keep the densities to this uh, sunlight and the some insects like a aphids and a white fly besides sucking plant sap they also carry viral infections you know they cause two types of damages what they do they suck the plant juices 
and uh, in uh, some cases what they do means they carry viral infections also viral infections and the other crop as might be carried by mammals some of the pests are carried by some mammals like say this rats the next bats monkeys rabbits squirrels and even say this round worms mites crabs and millipedes then the snails and the slugs all this uh, all this uh, different types of living organisms they carry they spread the this a pest from a uh, one crop to another crop or from a uh, one plant to another plant right a wide variety of agriculture and garden pests sites are available from a uh, neem tobacco and chrysanthemum now when we take this uh, neem tobacco and chrysanthemum 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 means uh, chamanti no now from this uh, three plants we can prepare the uh, you know organic uh, pesticides organic pesticides means bio pesticides means they are harmless they are uh, harmless to the other creatures they are harmful to only have you seen this a uh, picture there is a bishma now this bishma is a uh, completely based on what based on this uh, agriculture there is a uh, now especially this uh, organic farming organic means uh, natural methods natural methods right and the other so inorganic pesticides uh, inorganic means these are chemicals like uh, in them we can find the arsenic zinc sulfur phosphorus and the fluorine right and even a wide variety for organic synthetic pesticides are they commonly used but nowadays most of the farmers are using this uh, synthetic uh, chemicals synthetic uh, pesticides okay like a ddt like a ddt what is its full form dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethane trichloro ethane ddt and the next bhc benzene hexachloride the next chlorine then endrin olrin endosulfone diazinon or usually duster or sprayed while some are put in the soil okay so these all the different types of uh, chemicals we use uh, to control different types of uh, infections in the plants and uh, some of them can be dusted dust means when they are in the form of a powder we can dust them and if uh, they are in a liquid form we spray them and uh, some are in the form of a, you know crystal so we can put them in uh, the soil and uh, some pesticides act on a particular species of a plant but most are uh, also harmful to other harmless or useful animals but whenever we take this a uh, pesticides you know this a uh, pesticides now they what is their function to kill the pest so along with the pest they also cause a great damage to the other harmless or useful animals and the harmless means like butterflies the next honey bees and even to this uh, human beings also no of uh, in uh, in our state in our country you know while they're spraying these chemicals the farmers are not at all not at all cautious they won't cover their body but uh, it's a uh, very very dangerous why means these chemicals when they enter our body they also create very dangerous effects in the human beings right so here we can find one of the scientists by name uh, Rachel Carson Rachel Carson and she wrote a book by name uh, Silent uh, Spring Silent uh, Spring and uh, in this in this book she pointed out the dangers dangerous effects of uh, pesticides the means how this uh, pesticides cause uh, extensive damage to different types of uh, living things okay naturally this are uh, living things but also to this uh, soil water air all this things right so with this we come to the end of uh, this session thank you have a nice day